Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl Religion Link TV. Shalom everyone and welcome to Religion Wink TV where my spiritual hey, is so Hey, what's going on? Hi, welcome, welcome, this welcome. this edition of Tasha K's Receipts Don't Lie, so why the hell should I? Only in response, Tasha, to one of the comments I got on my video that I did saying Tasha K forced the hand of Wendy Williams with Avion Foster possibly saving her life. Uh, Wendy been trying to get divorced since last year. Hell, probably since 10 years ago. So I'm not saying, oh, because of Tasha K, Wendy got married. With all the poking and prodding and outing of, you know, gaining access of this secret tea, the, the, the wine she be spilling over on her channel, right? You're damn right. I'd be like, hell, I'm tired of this lady. She done outed everything I've been wanting to out it. So why don't I just out it? Yeah, she possibly forced her hand to tow the cars and, you know, to go ahead and file the paperwork and having Avion Forster come on the damn show and just out everything about her husband. You got darn right. This lady probably uh, forced her hand to go ahead and leave her husband once and for all because not only... Did we know he was sleeping with a woman? Now we know her husband was sleeping with a man. Hell, I wish somebody come along and force my damn hand. What do you think? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Anyway, guys, I am doing this video because somebody commented and said something that I was accusing Wendy Walls of being large and her husband leaving her. But that's what Avion Foster said. So I'm going to go ahead and insert... The, the comment here and then I'm gonna let you hear from him what he actually said on that first interview with Tasha K and um, we're gonna get into some other comments because obviously the video I did called Tasha K forced Wendy Williams hand with Avion Forster possibly saving her life Brought me some views, brought me some attention over here, and brought some raggedy ass commenters. I think one or two of them might have subscribed after I said what I said. But you know, I'm always going to say something in my comments if you come over here saying something in my comments. Because <laughs> I say, unlike Tracy, I mind my business over here, so your business don't mind me. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> but every now and then I go a little deep and I look at some of the issues and commentation or commentary Tasha K and other people put out and I comment on it and that's all I do. I don't go out and make the news or bring you the news. I comment on the news that's out there if I'm going to talk about something worldly, okay? I am not doxing people. I ain't going off of YouTube and your personal business. I don't even give a damn about none of that shit. And I only go so far with my commentation. And I make you think I like I did these people the on this last no video called Tasha K. Everything up to Yahweh. Why? Because in the damn thing on there is possibly today. saving and her life. Because this man came out and talked about and uh, the abuse, That's why the we women, no the this, shade, that, the third, no his shade. sexual relationship or not so much of a sexual relationship with Kelvin Hunter. He says he's known Kelvin for the last 10 years. This, this just started like last year or whatever. You can't believe him because I'm also going to show you at the end of this, he's a liar. He signed a contract with Kevin Hunter and also he signed with McDom, M-C-D-O-M. I don't know what the acronym stands for, but go to Daytime Tea Time TV because she got the scoop, Hi everybody, welcome okay? to Daytime Tea Time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candice. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload. Okay. So listen, by now, I'm sure you all have heard the name Avion Fallstar, a.k.a. Avion Williams. If you don't know who I'm talking about, he is a man who alleges that he is Wendy Williams' husband's side boo, or was Wendy Williams' husband's side boo, a.k.a. Kelvin Hunter's alleged boy toy. 
So, this man, Avion Falstar, who claims to have had a sexual relationship with Wendy Williams' husband, he also claims that he signed a contract with Kelvin Hunter to pursue music. And Avion also claims that Kelvin Hunter allegedly owes him money and he's going to be suing him. Now, I'm hearing some exclusive information that Avion Falstar is actually going to be sued, allegedly, because he is currently under contract with another management company and record label company. And that company is called Mick Dom, a.k.a. Music Can Depend On Me. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, tell them about your management team. My management team, McDonald's Music Can Depend On Me, is the best management team in the world. Mm -hmm. They want to see all their artists successful. They're not money hungry. They're not They're not trying to just get the, a quick dollar. They want to see their artists successful, and that's why they will always be my management team. The only, the, only, the only thing anybody else can do is co-manage. Two owners of this company are named Kia and Kareem Bagley, and you may have seen them at the Wendy Williams Show sitting right next to Avion Fallstar. <laughs> They are the management and record label company responsible for putting him at the Wendy Williams show and performing. Now, I have an exclusive interview with Kia Bagley, and she's going to explain to you everything that happened between her, her company, and Avion Fallstar. But before I get into that interview, I want to make it abundantly clear that Kia Bagley's views are not my views or the views of Daytime Tea Time. I want you guys to hear what she has to say about her experience with Avion because she feels that he is a liar. She feels that he has not told the truth about this alleged sexual relationship with Kelvin Hunter. She specifically said that he signed a deal with Kelvin Hunter behind her back and she didn't know anything about it until the recent interview came out on Unwai with Tasha K YouTube channel. She says that Avion is under contract with her company, McDom, for the next three years and she will be taking legal action. Okay, so let's get into the interview. All right, everybody. She got the scoop, okay, on this man. All the multiple different names he goes by, how he was in contract with McDonald and signed with Kelvin Hunter last year. He still owed him about three and a half years. So when I said Tasha K gets the best interviews, but she does not ask the right questions, that was one of the questions she could have asked if she knew he was signed with McDonald. But she didn't do her thorough research not to be putting down or shading a black woman. Just speaking facts. And daytime tea time came along and, and had an interview with this alleged a management company that he's signing to people so i know what i'm talking about over here and if tasha k receipts don't lie damn it why should i so i'm gonna go ahead and insert in here you know avion um avion foster for you all and you be the judge okay and like i said anything i say over here i'm gonna come with receipts as well because one thing I don't have to lie, it do, is lie. Because the God I serve, he is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. And you guys remember that, okay? Sick man. Sick, sick. So, I understood that. He told me all his little secrets about how he couldn't satisfy, satisfy Wendy. Tell me her pussy was too, her, excuse me, her, her she, she was too enlarged down there. And his little dick couldn't, couldn't, couldn't. Satisfier. That's why. Yeah, hold on one second, Bring the camera here for a second. The opinions of the guests on this show are not the opinions of Tasha K. Okay, go ahead. That's why she let him have Nikki because she knew that she let him have Nikki. She let him have Nikki. So she said, just don't get her pregnant. You know, just don't fuck the business. Because she was like, the only reason she didn't leave him is because he a black man, and she didn't want him to be looked at another way in America, just like every other black man. She she actually had respect for him as a black man face. Okay. But he when you keep acting like a, a, a can I say nigga? Sure. When you keep acting like a nigga, you know, she gonna treat you like one. Like her parents didn't like him in the beginning, but they they seem they seem to like him as they as they progress. Okay. But she let him have Nikki because she knew he couldn't really satisfy her. Now before I go ahead and show you guys the um interview with this lady Kia from McDom and all the proof that she has on this man and the alleged um, 
sexual abuse allegedly that she couldn't really allude to but laughed at you know nervously that it may be some truth to it let me go ahead and share this post with you right here okay hold on one second i am going to read it to you so it goes on to say did you said things that avion didn't say about wendy's walls five question marks i think I don't know, blank, it's like a emoji I can't see on my desktop. His comment was about Kelvin's small size. Girl, go drink some wine. You get an F for this report. I said, oh my goodness, God bless you and thanks for the clicking of you. Watch Tasha's video, the man said what he said. And I'm saying what I said. The man said allegedly Kelvin went and cheated on Wendy because her walls was large. And I don't really give a damn. I was just making comment on what the man said, okay? Toss J. And you can still come over here and support me because I'm giving you the truth. All right, guys. We are back, okay? Let me take these readers off here. Let me see what I'm here. So, have I proven to you so far that this man said that about Wendy and not me? I mean, come on. Just because you spend a lifetime on YouTube dragging people, and this isn't to Tasha K, it's to everybody that does it, doesn't mean everybody else you think you know or don't know is doing it, okay? And with that being said, I'm going to go right into Kia's part of the interview with uh, Daytime Tea Time so you all can hear from her mouth, not really doing TV, that this man is full of shit, allegedly, allegedly, okay? So, and that there's some um, maybe sexual harassment that he isn't letting out. And again, like I said, Tasha K get the best interviews, but she don't ask the right questions. That was not dragging her. As you saw in the one post I showed you, like, come on. But then people run over here and try to tear me down and defend her. And all I said is she get the best interviews. But she don't always ask the right questions. She be so enamored with the guests. As we saw, she could sing. And then this other dude come along and ask me about part two. So maybe before I even get into the interview with uh, Kia from McDonald's Music um, You Can Depend On or whatever music can depend on me i believe the acronym the acronym is right let me just say this some dude came over and you know uh, Amon wiggins the Amon wiggins show one of his slogans is well hello there motherfucker <laughs> right and um this dude got a troll page it could be a chick you know People lost in their souls and got to go on the troll pages and can't be themselves. Are the fake ones dealing with psychosis and disassociative disorder. It's a mental health where they can't deal with reality, right? But they got to spend time to make a page to come over to your page and say, Well, hello there, motherfucker. He said some, some shit. Well, where's part two? And I said in one of my videos... I could only get through 30 minutes of the first one, probably right after he said that nasty shit about Wendy Williams, right? And, and, and Tasha being a black woman who didn't say, yo, man, chill, because we so busy wanting to get the attention of you nasty-ass listeners that want to hear that nasty shit. She didn't even have enough sense to say, hey, 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 hey. We talking about Wendy Williams here. I know you want to get out what you want to say, but I think you can make your own page to say some shit. I just want this part on my page, respecting black women, right? So anyway, hello there, motherfucker. Came over here and said some shit about where's part two. And I'll let you see the post right here. And I'll explain it to you. Okay, so it says... Okay, I gotta say after listening to part two, after all, I was so confused by how disjointed. Who the hell is Angelina or Nikki or Leonard? What the hell? So I now take my butt over to Religion Wing TV because you are really good at summing up what I feel was a hot mess of hodgepodge. What the F word was all that? Thanks. I appreciate what you did. 
I don't know what the hell he talking about there, but that was not the original comment. Where the hell did it go? Oh, Lord. But anyway, that might have been the original comment. All I seen was, okay, I got to say after listening to part two, after all, check out what it said. I was so confused by how disjointed. Who the hell is Angelina or Nikki or Leonard? What the hell? So I now take my butt over to Religion Wing TV because you were really good at summing up what I feel was a hot mess of hodgepodge. What the F word was all that? Thanks. I appreciate what you did. Hello. And I said, God bless you, motherfucker. <laughs> I was like on some shit like God bless you motherfucker <laughs> Yeah I could I was like R are you serious Who the hell wanna watch part 2 of that shit Not me That ain't what my spirit is about But when I seen dude Hello there motherfucker I said oh let me just say God bless you motherfucker <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so shout out to hello there, motherfucker. As well, hello, motherfucker. I said, well, hello, motherfucker, to you too. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> and then another person came over and was like, okay, I slur my words. I'm I slow. You. I talk slow. And it's coming on real strong. No clarity, no zeratin. The prayers, everything, fasting, salt water. The enemy is trying to fill me up with fluid and take my voice away. Shame me so I won't come before you to set the captive free. Open blind eyes. Heal, heal blind eyes. Open deaf ears. Those are broken hearts like these people coming over here commenting on my, my, my um, Tasha K post a video. I welcome it. Come on. And what you're going to get is a God bless you, motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, this chick was like, either you drunk, you you high, you sleepy, you sound dead. And I said, well, I can't tell what the hell you look like or sound like without that damn avatar you hiding under. So people, let me tell you something. I got up like 4.30 this morning and they was on my con on that video. I said, oh hell, it's bringing this much controversy. So I hope this one brings even more. I said what I said about Tasha K. She get the best interview. She don't kiss no ass. She dance to her own beat of her own drum. And she freaking got her own studios. She don't need mainstream. She got her own money back in her. Got commercials on there. Social Media Land, if you would like to purchase any of these books available on Amazon.com, please go to Amazon.com and put in Drew L. Murray and you will see all the books that pop up. From baby books to Christmas books to Black Lives Matter books, spirituality, um, in the eyes of God, now and then, and um, so much more. Thank you. I go over there and say hi to her and baby K, whether she say hi to me or not. This is not no goddamn obsession like sweet ma was with her because she ignore her and don't speak to her. I see true stories. I see stories that could be full of shit. Stories that tell the truth. And I fucking comment on it, okay? And I still can like Tasha K. Even after she went over there and told you why those drunk asses to go sick Jenna Kramer. And you did it. And I commented on that. Where was y'all then? And I still have respect for her. And like I said in that video on that one post, I made Tasha K look better than anybody involved in this. And I don't do videos to tear Tasha K or no other content creator down. I come with a different perspective from a different place of spirituality. That most of you don't come for. Like I said to that one lady. You only heard the bad thing you wanted to hear. All the rest of the good I said Tasha K. And people like her might have saved, saved Wendy's life. All the videos. All the out on her husband. All the disgrace and deceit. Now Avion Foster and his bullshit allegedly. 
I would love for somebody to come along and do all these videos sort of open my eyes up to what my husband and I knew all along she knew all along we knew all along in this situation if you ever been in this situation right but what do you do to keep the family together to keep the kids with their father so i don't look embarrassed in these streets my husband cheating on me you stay you go along to get along just to belong and you love what hurts you and like i said you coming over here calling me names like the crab of the barrel sure i'm not where tasha k is and then never aspire to be. I aspire to be where Christ is. How about that now? Isn't that greater than where Tasha is? But that's the mentality of you demon ass people on this earth that follow mankind. I told you I don't worship people. Tasha is my equal in the eyes of my father. I don't know about you. So I'm telling y'all, yo, it's chill. Because I'm on Tasha's side, on Wendy's side, on any other, any black woman who going through the struggle side. Any black man who going through the struggle. Because if it's alleged with Avian Wills, uh, Foster and Kevin doing with one another. And doing the Wendy and this Sharina girl. Y'all need freaking Jesus. The white one, the black one, the purple, red, black, blue. The chess playing one, checker playing one. It don't matter which one. You need them. And also the black messiah, the word of the most li most high God, the living God. You need that word too. Come to the morning read every morning, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And get your daily bread. And you won't be acting like these damn fools of the world. Like the Wendy Williams, her husband, Avion Foster. Alright, don't, don't try it over here. And if you do, respectfully, I'm going to answer back. It's not a clap back, it's an answer back. So let's go. Yeah, I got angry just then. Be angry, but sin not. Don't let the, the, the sun go down on your angry. Y'all don't know nothing. So whether I sound dead, drunk, sleepy. <laughs> Whatever you think it is, people. We, we making some, we, we, we shaking the earth over here. We shaking the heavens. We shake, look, we shaking it. We making some noise. And it ain't to come up off of nobody because Tasha know I did videos before. I get a, a thousand or two off of her name. Hell, how many she get off of Wendy? How many she get off of Avion? How many she get off of R. Kelly? These are names, people. How many y'all getting off of Religion Week's content, but you ain't putting my name in the title? How many of you content creators come over here, watch my shit, ain't even man or woman enough to say what's up, take part of my content, and don't go feed your flock as if God gave it to you and you got it originally. You're full of shit, just like Avion Foster is. Now we're going to get right into... The, uh, the audio with him in the uh, uh, daytime TV interviewing Kia from McDonald. Music can depend on me and what she has to say about his alleged sexual abuse. That would have been a question I asked. Has anybody sexually abused you or have you ever tried to sexually abuse someone other than Kelvin Hunter? So one lady was like, well, Tasha getting the interviews and eventually I'll get them too. And I'll ask the right questions that you really need to know. And then that way you won't need a part two because you see he's full of shit in part one. And you won't even waste your time with that kind of commentary anymore. Because at the end of the day, Wendy Williams is still Wendy Williams. Kevin Hunter is still Kevin Hunter. Avion is still Avion. Tasha is still Tasha. And Religion Link TV is still over here standing in her mother effing. Hello. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> You'll check this post out. And I'll be back with the rest of my commentary from the neck up, bitch. Because in his interview with with Avion's interview, he said that he's currently suing Kelvin Hunter regarding that contract that he has with Kelvin. But if he's in a but if he's in a contract with you, then the wouldn't it? Does Kelvin know this? Are you in contact with Kelvin Hunter? I see. 
someone in their party or whatever. We're friends. We're not enemies. They've never done anything to us that we know about maliciously. So at this present moment. So you're not sure if Kevin signed him knowing he's still signed to you? I don't know if he signed him knowing that uh, he was still signed to us. Okay, well, that brings me to my next question because I was, you know, I wasn't contacted by you. Someone else, multiple people contacted me, you know, about you and your company, you know, McDonald and Avion. So I'm just trying to understand, are you, are you filing a lawsuit against them? That's what I'm being told. Are you filing a lawsuit against Avion? At the present moment, we are
sexual things, and now I'm hearing some of the similar things about him, and I'm, I'm just confused. But I'm not dear. Okay. The tea of it all, the wine of it all. I used to drink Guinness out of it all. Now I sip a little margarita. Wine cooler of it all with the salt around the rim. A homemade style, a lemonade of it all. It would be all of it all. And you heard it right here on Religion Week TV, y'all. So with that being said, let me take these damn readers off so you can look me in my eyes. <laughs> And realize that I'm going to give it to you as raw as I can, as real as I can, and as honest as I can. Okay, guys? With that being said, this is your girl, Religion Wink TV. And this is your girl, Religion Wink TV, and my spiritual ear stay. Guys, let me know what you think about this video. How'd your girl do? Did I answer back all the questions? Did I still make Tasha K look like the queen of YouTube that she is by right? Her hustle grind, I respect. Uh, but like I said in one of those videos, it, it, or one of those posts you'll read, it's not how she got there. It's not what she got. It's how she treat God's people along the way that matters to God and to me. Okay, with that being said, Tasha K receipts don't lie. So why in the hell should I? <laughs> Yes. Thank God for editing, right? Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl Religion Wing TV. Neck up bitches.